Pope Tofan 2023 between the uh, RMF and PACAF. So it actually kicked off a couple of days ago, but this picture is from 2014. And basically, this is exercise for the yeah, Malaysian Air Force and the U.S. Air Force. I, at first, was super excited because obviously in 2014, they had Hawks, Raptors, Flankers, Eagles, Fulcrums, and Hornets. And it was uh, pretty much if, you know, when I die and go to heaven, every day is going to be Cope Tofon 2014 for me <laughs> because, <laughs> because you got to fight like just tons of cool airplanes. All and, the jets. Dude, look at that Hornet with the, yeah. the, the oh, yeah. blacked had, out charcoal yeah. gray. Yeah, that was the paint job, man, because it was harder to see against the uh, the jungle. And uh, look, if you notice how bad the MiG-29 smokes, that photo is not, not uh, adjusted. They, look they how smoke. massive the flanker is compared to everybody else. Dude, that's bigger than a Raptor. Yeah, yeah. And the Raptor is huge. It's bigger than an Eagle. Yeah. No, it's, it, dude, it's, it's massive. Uh, uh, they parked one right next to... They parked one uh, right next to the uh, F-18 as a as a display when i first got there and <laughs> i walked up to the main gear tire and it was like it's like you know, an airliner this, like an airliner i'm like what is this thing no but so the article you know it just talks about hey you know we're doing this big exercise you know for training a bunch of propaganda but you know in 23 it looks like they're only bringing uh, c-130s and f-16s from uh osan is that right so they'll get a little bit of dissimilar but i think it's a bit of a wasted opportunity for the air force because i mean they don't have the fulcrum anymore, but it's a great chance for pretty much any fast jet guy to get some experience fighting the flanker. You know, I mean, yeah. And you pointed out in the last episode, which I want to clarify, um, the, when the Indian, the MKI, mm -hmm. uh, fought, you know, the, you, you talked about the paradigm shift where we realized yeah. it was much better than we thought you were talking about cope India. Yes. Not red flag. Cause mm -hmm. Somebody came as a comment. They're like, oh, no, no, red flag. They didn't do Cope India. Different. Because I remember, I know what you're talking about. The early 2000s, Cope India was like, holy crap. We just learned a whole <laughs> bunch of stuff that. <laughs> you guys do this? It's yeah. Like, Whoops. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the, the yeah, the, the Indian Air Force, those guys are, you know, they're very, very sharp. And the RMAF guys are, are good too. But it's just, it's, it's such a a great opportunity that in 2014 they took full advantage of because we uh, just there at Butterworth, there was uh, Eagles, Raptors, Hawks, and Hornets. And it was just really fun, man. Cause you could like, you know, you could go look at all the airplanes and we were all there. We were all talking and it was just a good, you know, it was, a, it was good, like a big ready room experience. You learn so much, you know, obviously for the R map, it was huge, right? Cause the Raptor was there. That was their first experience, you know, fighting a fifth gen airplane. That was almost 10 years ago. Uh, and then, you know, the Eagle, I mean, it was, dude, it was, I, I just remember like coming out of my office, you know, for a lunch break and like in the, into the break and like the Malaysian break is really cool, you know, but into the break is a, whoa, is a whoa, whoa. what is the Malaysian break? Uh, the, the Malaysian shit hot. They call uh, we, the what we would request is low level running, running in and pitch. I think is what we would say, and it was a hundred feet subsonic. You could say all those words in the same sequence. Low level running in and pitch. <laughs> I usually the, the radios were the wizard's job. But, <laughs> okay. but, uh, I want the low level running in and pitch, dude. That's a, a t-shirt. It's a. <laughs> that's Conky's it. next t-shirt. Yeah, sorry. Go ahead. I'm. No, I'm you come here. in at a hundred feet subsonic and uh Whoa. so so uh so we took the the raptor footage i have the you know so we went out and fought this raptor and uh <laughs> it's so funny in the brief uh i can't remember the guy's name great dude this is a hawaii guard guy he's like hey uh listen on the way back you know if i lead us into the break i gotta do the air force thing which is like super lame He's like, but if you lead me into the break, I just, I'm just your wingman. And I'm like, oh, got it. And so yeah. we brought him in at like, you know, a hundred feet, 500 something knots. Those guys, I mean, boom, into the, into the break. And what's funny is that went on for about um, four days. And then the Raptor hit a bird down low and that was it. The, uh, oh, the no. was like, no more. He didn't, 
hitting birds is not a yeah because it did a bunch you know it damaged yellow and of course they were you know we're there in the jungle it's like (laughs) we can't fix this thing but uh but it was it was a tremendous experience man i mean for for any dissimilar is a good experience i mean the fact that just seeing what the other like you know hey we're doing it this way and we don't i'm you know that that was my that's my biggest beef with like the with DOD, man, like I, I spent my entire career in the Navy studying the MiG-29 and the flanker primarily, how to fight them and beat them. Never actually got to fight them yeah. until I quit the Navy, joined Boeing and went overseas as a civilian. Then I actually got to fight them. And then you have just, you know, the, the, the experience I have there would be invaluable. God forbid we ever get into a real engagement fighting oh, real. hundred percent. Because I learned real quick <clears throat> fighting a flanker. I'm like, you, you lag bfm is great not against a flanker <laughs> yeah. it's all you about know? the nose dude. position dude <laughs> shoot first and ask questions later yeah. so that's a yeah, whole video so. by itself gonky you could talk about yeah no dude. but hey hope those guys over there the f-16 bubba's they're gonna have a lot of fun fighting the uh fighting the flanker and i flanker guys that they're they're gonna like fighting the f-16 especially they they, they enjoy fighting any american because they they hold us in high regard so that's awesome. It's, it's going to be awesome. Hopefully they get some good GoPro footage. Share it. That's my plug, but not on YouTube. <laughs> Share it with me. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, you know, it's funny. You talk about going in the break because I, there was a guy in my old squadron in the Viper and, you know, I'm just a Lieutenant. I'm sitting here listening. He's like, yeah, first time I went to the Hornet, you know, they did this thing called a carrier break. And so he's, he's like, oh, I'm gonna lead you back. And he said, I wasn't paying attention. You know, the guy just kissed me off and I was like, what are you? <laughs> You know, he's like, I'm confused because of the kiss off part. And yeah. then all of a sudden I, I roll and pull, I'm doing nine G's and I'm like, Oh God, boy. you know, cause it was five fifty, four fifty, oh, yeah. you know, and the Viper, oh, will yeah. just, you know, you go to the limiter and it's a, it's a nine G pull versus <laughs> you know, the part. It'll give you seven, yeah. know, maybe eight. It won't you know, bleed maybe. as fast. Will it? The Viper? Yeah. No, dude, you're well, it depends on what you do with your throttle. I mean, if you go idle, it'll, it'll bleed, bleed it. down. But if you, if you were in burner at. 800 feet oh yeah no dude you'd be accelerating and it would hurt so bad uh, well dude even so even uh, on f18 you come back light light on the gas dude if you're you know. doing 450 knots and you leave the blower and you're not slowing down oh no 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 you don't want to do those things that's the good times D- man DCS hey, special now we miss it now we miss it of a gun i want to come into the break again i know dude well when we buy ours we'll come into the break every day Nothing better, man, than being a new guy. I just remember being a new guy coming into the break with my skipper, and he did not. <laughs> he was we'll awesome. Start a, we'll start a GoFundMe, Gonky. Dude, it was, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. 